What happened at this woman's wedding is so outrageous that it went viral right away. Her dream wedding changed into one big nightmare. She got dumped right before saying I do. His reason? Her way. The life of 33-year-old Karen collapsed. She was left broken and alone, but when the tears dried up, there was only one feeling left, intense anger. That's why she decided to take her revenge in the ultimate way. She got back at her ex-boyfriend where it would hurt him the most. For Karen, this was a huge slap in the face and she was left alone and broken at the altar. The shock was so great that she could only stare emptily into space. But then she awoke again to the harsh reality of what just happened. The beautiful bride that shone so bright just three minutes ago now ran into the bathroom crying. How could he be so mean and where did this come from? She cried so hard that her makeup ran down her face, but through all the tears she suddenly remembered something. He'd made remarks about her weight before. Karen, however, hadn't always been this big. When she met her fiancé, Eric, she barely weighed 132 pounds. She loved to exercise and lead an active lifestyle. Eric, on the other hand, was a lazy guy that would rather sit on the couch eating a bag of chips than taking just one step. And it showed. Underneath his sweater, he hit a large gut. But when it came to Karen's weight, he was merciless. Karen couldn't gain a pound or she would hear about it. Pig noises when she would only take one bite too many were not out of the ordinary. But at that time, Karen didn't think too much of it. She loved sports. That's why calories didn't stand a chance with this 25-year-old woman. But despite her healthy appearance, Eric often sent nasty comments her way. I worked up a sweat every day and subconsciously I mostly did it for him. But then all of a sudden, everything changed on Wednesday, October 20th, 2017. Apart from exercising, Karen loved to ride motorcycles. She went everywhere on her steel horse. But that day, everything ended up differently than she expected. She was driving her motorcycle home and only had five minutes left to go when suddenly a driver pulled up from the left. The man was busy looking at his phone and didn't see her. With a speed of 50 miles an hour, he hit Karen from the side. The young woman was hurled into the air like a rag doll. The accident and implications were terrible. Karen's young body was in awful shape. She suffered multiple fractures in her legs and a crack in her spinal cord. The active 25-year-old went into a long period of rehabilitation that would have dire consequences. She could barely move and was completely reliant on her boyfriend, Eric. Eric, however, wasn't the caring type, so Karen was left to fend for herself most of the time. This took a heavy toll on her body. Over a period of six months, Karen gained no less than 110 pounds. But the implications it would have on her relationship proved to be much worse. She was a mere ghost of the beautiful, vibrant woman she once was. This didn't go unnoticed by Eric. The two were engaged and about to get married. Eric would often make jokes in which he would let slip that the whole thing wasn't going to happen if she'd remain overweight. Karen, however, didn't believe that someone could be so cruel and assumed he didn't mean it, until he left her right before the I do. But Karen would get her revenge one way or another. The rage she felt on the way inside only grew in the months after the incident. When she then found out that Eric was getting hitched to a different woman after only three months, something inside her snapped. She had recovered from her accident and was determined to get her life and body back into shape. She trained hard and lost no less than 110 pounds, but that wasn't all. Cunningly, she talked her way onto the guest list of his wedding, and she was there on a special day. The church bells chimed and right in front of the entrance, there was a huge cardboard cutout of the happy, nearly married couple. I'll teach him a lesson he won't hurt get. Horrible guy, Karen thought. She waited patiently for the perfect moment. Once Eric was up at the altar himself, she knew what to do. There he stood, about to say I do. He gave a speech about how attracted he felt to his new girlfriend Kimberly, and even complimented her on the buttocks. And yet again, it's all about the looks, Karen thought. But then the decisive moment arrived. The moment still so fresh and painful in Karen's memory, the I do. The minister threw up his arms and spoke the well-known words, If anyone can show just cause why this couple cannot lawfully be joined together in matrimony, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. This was Karen's moment. She stood up and voiced her objection, If you marry this man, he'll leave you as soon as you gain a pound. He did it to me too. Eric was gobsmacked. He didn't know what was happening. His current bride had also noticed he'd pay close attention to her diet. This didn't sit well with her and she had decided to talk to his ex Karen about it. The two had secretly been in contact for some time now. And now it was Kimberly's turn to say I do. No, a man that treats women this way will not be my husband, she spoke loud and clear. It was a hard slap in the face for Eric but not an unjust one. Now it was Eric's turn to suffer. He was left all alone at the altar. Karen and Kimberly have become good friends. Having a common enemy unites people, the two explained. They would meet each other every week for a cup of coffee to talk about life, their new husbands, and lovely children. 
and of course about the horrible man who started this all, Eric.